Yo, what's up guys? It's Mossy Effects here. Uh, I'm doing a tutorial for you guys today. I know I haven't put up a video in forever. Two months. I know it's crazy. I'm sorry. Uh, I told you guys I was going to be back and I haven't been uh, kind of holding it up. So I'm going to try to be better. I'm not going to be able to do a, a week to week video. It's probably going to be every two weeks now because I have a really busy schedule this year as compared to last year when I first started the channel. So Anyways, uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys in Cinema 4D, and it's going to be using Throusy, and if you guys don't know what Throusy is, it just pretty much, it's a uh, plugin you get for Cinema 4D, it's free, uh, I'll put the link in my description, and pretty much it, it cuts up uh, any kind of object that you have in Cinema 4D into the randomized pieces and all that, but what I'm going to teach you guys to do is to be able to control the pieces uh, using some sliders and some adjustments using a uh, random effector and pretty much you cannot control this without you know pretty much using the way I'm about to show you uh, you can do uh, physics pretty much with Cinema 4D uh, where you just you have the object you break it and you have a rigid body tag on it and you just press play and it plays forward and the gravity affects it but that's really kind of a poor way to do things because it's so random and you really can't control it as well as you can uh, so let's jump into this so uh, first of all get your object that you want to break up and I'm just gonna use a sphere uh, so get our sphere here and what we're gonna do is make sure you have it selected go to your plugins go to throw C and uh, break it. I'm gonna do 75 pieces. You can do whatever you want or however you want to break it, you know. Oh, that was quick. So uh, once you have this done, uh, make sure this X is uh, to a check mark and see you have your rigid body tag like I was talking about or dynamic body expression. So when you do this, when you press play, Cinema 4D has added pretty much uh, physics to it, so it's going to act with gravity. And when you do that, it's so random, you can't really control it. And you can't, you can't go really frame by frame unless you uh, do this and go forward. But you can't go backwards, so it'd, it'd be kind of annoying if you found one, say, like right here, but you went over it too much and you want to go back. Well, you can't because it doesn't, you know keep it there so that's just I mean you can do it that way if you want to go for uh, that kind of look but you can also do it this other way I'm about to show you so go ahead and delete that tag and it's gonna go back to a sphere and make sure you have this selected and go to your MoGraph uh, effector and go to random effector and you'll see it kind of randomized everything and uh, so if we go over here to the right uh, here's our strength uh, slider here and this is pretty much just the strength that the effector has on it so obviously zero it's gonna be you know back to a regular sphere and a hundred is gonna be as far as it uh, will extend to and of course you can go past that if you'd like <clears throat> so I'm gonna start it about here and uh, so now what you're wanting you're gonna want to do is go to your parameter tab and you'll see here uh, you have all these uh, you see you have position ticked and if you take that off obviously it, uh, it doesn't affect the position of it so position uh, you're just going to change the pieces randomly uh, to uh, either side like this is going wider uh, this is going taller on the y axis and this is going deeper so it's coming it kind of it randomizes everything so it, you can get a pretty cool look uh, just messing around with these and then what you can also do is add some rotation in there um, and just you know mess with that get the way you want it to look and uh, another cool thing you can do is scale which scale is just gonna mess with the size of your pieces so let's say you're at 0% you're gonna be at normal pieces in your sphere you put it the strength to 100 and it's going to give you a uh, more extended kind of stretched out pieces and you can kind of mess with that I usually don't use it 
I mean, it's cool to use. You can make it look kind of like a crystal. But I mean, whatever you want to do. So I'll do it like that. And so now you can see if you go back to your effector tab, you can do that. And you can also animate this, which is really cool. Actually, let me go over one more thing. Uh, down here you can see the seed. A seed is pretty much, you, you've already made things random. But this is like a million different options you can have. It's even more random. So it, it's really crazy what a seed does. It pretty much takes uh, variations of anything and randomizes it and gives you multiple options. So say uh, you kind of have everything in the position you want, but you don't really like where all the pieces are at or their size or something just kind of off. You can go down here to your seed and it, it randomizes pretty much. It already has pre-selected uh, stuff, but you have so many options. It's crazy. I like that one, I guess. So you can do that, but okay. So now on to uh, animating this. If you want to animate something like this, so say you want to go from a sphere and you just want to explode it or something. So you're gonna start at uh, frame zero, of course, and uh, strength zero, and over to the left of strength, you can see this little dot. It's uh, just kind of like a black circle. What you want to do is if you have your keyframe already set and all that, you're just gonna click Control, hold it down and click or I think it's command for Mac but uh, you press control and you click that little inside the uh, black circle and I'll make a keyframe for you this is so you can control the slider you're pretty much keyframing the slider you cannot put the slider at zero keyframe it and then go forward because it won't do anything because you you have to do the slider so from there you're gonna go to where you want it to end and I'm just gonna do it all the way at 90 and extend it all the way out to 100 percent or wherever you want it to animate to and you'll see that the little dot turned yellow <clears throat> what that means is just waiting for a keyframe so just hold control or command again and click in that dot and it'll turn red and that means it made a keyframe and you're ready to go so let's watch it pretty cool and then what you can do also is just uh, reverse it so it comes back into a sphere just like that so alright guys that's how you make a organizable kind of a uh, thrusty break or I don't know what to quite call this technique yet but uh, I'll make sure that you can find the video obviously um so thank you guys for watching if you liked it if this helped you or you think this is cool please like favorite and subscribe it really helped me out all right i'll see you guys in the next video see ya